Hello learners, welcome again with another visual lesson with Miss Lian. Today, you will learn about exponential notation. So, at the end of this video, you are expected to identify the exponent in a number expressed in exponential notation. Number two, identify the base in a number expressed in exponential notation. And number three, give the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. What is exponential notation? What are the parts of exponential notation? So let us define exponential notation and its parts. The mathematical expression a raised to nth power is written in exponential notation. So when you say a raised to nth power, a is the base and n is the exponent. When we say base, it is the number multiplied by itself. So ibig sabihin, yung base imo multiply natin sa sarili niya kung ilan ang sinasabi ng exponent. When you say exponent, it is the number that indicated how many times the base is to be multiplied by itself. Let us apply the parts to an example for further understanding. Example, so we have the exponential form. We have the base and exponent. So we will identify what is the base and exponent in each exponential form. Number 1, we have 4 raised to the 3rd power. So, binabasa siya as 4 raised to the 3rd power. So, sino si base? Ang base natin dyan ay si 4. At sino naman si exponent? Si exponent ay si 3. Number 2, we have 12 raised to the 5th power. So, ang ating base ay si 12 at ang exponent ay si 5. Number 3, 8 raised to the 7th power. Ang ating base ay si 8 at ang ating exponent ay si 7. Number 4, 12 raised to 0. So, ang ating base dyan ay si 12 at ang ating exponent ay si 0. Okay, now let us move to another set of examples. So, dito we will be giving the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin na natin yung mismo value ng exponential notation. So, number 1, we have 4 raised to 3. Ang sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, ang base natin ay imumultiply natin sa sarili niya kung ilan yung sinasabi ni exponent. So, sa number 1, 4 raised to the 3rd power. So, ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin si 4 ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. So, it will be equal to 4 times 4 times 4. So, we will get the product of 4 times 4 is 16. Then, multiply to another 4 which is equal to 64. So, ibig sabihin, 4 raised to the third power is equal to 64. Next example, number 2, 5 raised to the second power. So, ang base natin dito ay si 5. Ilang beses natin siya multiply Dalawang beses. So, ibig sabihin, we have 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Number 3, we have 2 raised to the 6th power which means 
imumultiply natin si 2 sa sarili niya ng 6 na beses. So, 2 raised to the 6th power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 And times 2, it is equal to 64. So, ibig sabihin, 2 raised to the 6th power is equal to 64. And last, number 4, 12 raised to 0. So, kapag ganyan ang nakita nyo, any number or any base that raised to 0 is equal to 1. Kahit na 100 raised to 0, 20 raised to 0, 5 raised to 0. So, any number that will raise to 0 is always equal to 1. Now, let us move to the last set of examples. We are going to evaluate the following exponential notation if A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 5. So number 1, B times C plus A raised to the second power. So kapag nakakita kayo na magkadikit na letters, ibig sabihin ang operation niyan ay multiplication. So B times C. Sa evaluation, isasubstitute lang natin ang value ng mga letter. Kung si A ay 3, si B ay 2, at si C ay 5. So, let us start. Si B, papalitan natin ng 2. So, 2 times value ni C, which is 5. Plus value ni A, which is 3, raised to the second power. Now, let us simplify. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Plus, sabi ko nga, ang base ay imumultiply sa sarili, depende kung ano ang exponent nito. Since 2 ang exponent ni 3, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses natin imumultiply si 3 sa sarili niya. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, let us add 10 plus 9 is equal to 19. Example number 2, we have C raised to the 3rd power minus A raised to the 4th power. So, papalitan lang natin si C ng 5. Then, raised to the 3rd power minus A, si A ay 3, raised to the 4th power. So, ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin si 5 ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. So, we have 5 times 5 times 5. Minus, imumultiply naman natin si 3 sa sarili niya ng apat na beses. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, let us simplify. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is equal to 125. Minus 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And 27 times 3 is equal to 81. Now, let us subtract. 125 minus 81 is equal to 44. So, the answer in C raised to the 3rd power minus A raised to the 4th power is 44. Third example, 50 plus B raised to the 3rd power. So, we will copy 50 plus 
change natin yung value ni B, which is 2, then raise to the third power. So, let us simplify. 50 plus tatlong beses ay mamultiply si 2 sa kanyang sarili. So, 50 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Now, let us add 50 plus 8. It is equal to 58. So, the answer is 58. Last example, number 4. We have 7 times C raised to the second power. Sabi ko nga kanina, kapag magkadikit, ang operation na nag exist dyan ay multiplication. So, we have 7 times value ni C, which is 5, raised to the second power. So, let us multiply. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So, yung dalawang 5, kapag minultiply natin, it is equal to 25. So, 7 times 25 is equal to 175. So, the answer now is 175. So again, let us recall, the mathematical expression a raised to nth power is written in exponential notation. So when we say base, it is the number multiplied by itself. An exponent, exponent is the number that indicated how many times the base is to be multiplied by itself. When we say simplified value, it is the value of exponential expression after multiplying the base by itself as indicated by its exponent. Okay, learners, that's all for today's video. Always remember, to learn mathematics is to do mathematics.